And don't be mistaken, that's platforms on top of this cage, which makes this match even extra special. And a nice maneuver there by Teddy Hart. What do you call that? Teddy Hart catching Trent Acid, the Bulldog, on the way down. Beautifully done. As here comes Kashmir right now. This match, a result of all the high-flying scramble matches, ROH taking it to a whole new level with this one. And Jack Evans looking very impressive. I've heard great things about this kid. Trent Acid misses a Yakuza kick. Here's Jack Evans scooping off a slam. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? I don't know. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, that's the most incredible athletic stuff I've seen this side of the amazing red. Who is this kid? Who is he? And now Johnny Cash made a bad spot and a blockbuster. Teddy Hart, Jack Evans looking awesome. These guys are using the cage to their specialties right here. Of course, Teddy Hart looked very impressive in his RH debut at Glory by Honor 2 against TJ Wilson, and then Special K laughed at him after the match, saying he wasn't a high flyer, but Teddy sure proved him wrong later in the night. And the back seats have Jack Evans up here. And Jack Evans goes for the ride. Nicely done. Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, Ray, but it should be noted these three two teams are going to go at it for three minutes. And then every other team's going to be in two minutes after that. As we have beautiful double team work by the backseat boys. And you know what? There cannot be a winner in this match until all five teams are in the scramble cage. And the backseat boys in control right here. On Jack Evans and Teddy Hart. What are they doing? I don't know what this is. Oh, double backdrop driver. What impact right there. And Hart and Evans are down. And Teddy Hart looks like he's checking. He's pointing to Jack Evans' neck. This young competitor, he, he could be seriously hurt already in this match. Well, we knew the risk going into this one. We knew that there was a good possibility someone was going to leave this match injured, but I didn't think it would come so soon. And, and I'm very concerned right now about Jack Evans. I mean, this is probably the most dangerous match in ROH history. And this is his debut, and they're leaving the cage. The backseat's wondering what's going on here. Well, you can leave the cage. You're free to go in and out of the cage. The cage is simply there to increase the high flying capabilities of, of the men in this match and but Jack Evans he might be a non-factor for the rest of this match I mean he just dazzled the crowd with those moves and now he might be out already and Teddy Hart trying to get in the cage and he's just met by the backseat boys and we hold on the next team coming in who's coming out oh no Logan DeVito the carnage crew it's gonna get violent real quick and they are taking it right now oh no 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 Oh, DeVito just tossed the injured Jack Evans over the guardrail. And did you see how hard Hart went into the guardrail? He might have gotten a concussion from that. They could be a non-factor in this match. 
and now it's the Baxi Boys and the Carnage Crew. No love lost here in the cage. I think Loke just gave Teddy Hart a concussion, but right now it's Carnage Crew, Baxi Boys. Oh, lovey, they just got dumped into the cage. The Baxi Boys just tasting the steel mesh as they were Baxi Crew looking devastating. The Baxi Boys have to be tired. They've already got three minutes against Hart and Evans, and there's a Carnage Plex. And the Carnage crew just tearing through the Baxi boys right here. And Shrek's just dumped into the cage as the violent aspect of this match is included now. Well, Loke and DeVito, you don't figure that they're going to take advantage of the high-flying portion of this match. They are definitely going to take advantage of the steel cage part of this match. Yeah, I don't think they're going anywhere near those platforms, Lovey. Crawling is what they're adept at, and they are going to prove it. They already have by sending the Baxi boys into that cage. And right now, Loke and DeVito are just dominating this match. I'm just looking at those platforms. Look how high they are. And Jack Evans, he could be out. Did you see Teddy Hart's face there? I could see into his eyes. Definitely does not have a concussion. There's definitely some concern right there, though, in the eyes of Teddy Hart. Jack Evans on the floor. And right. Teddy Hart maybe should get into this match. I don't know. He's checking his partner, though. And DeVito just stops trending to Johnny. Did you see his boot kick Cashman right in the face? Very effective use of the Northern Light Suplex by Tony DeVito. He's miserable. I mean, these guys, they work 40, 50 hour weeks for barely any pay. And right now, the backseat boys are a little there razzle dazzle, double team moves. And look at the Vito taste the steel. And who's coming out next? I think this is the SAT quest. And yes, it is. Music, Jose and Joel Maximo. And I got a feeling they're going to take advantage of those platforms. Absolutely. Two of the most innovative athletes here in ROH. And they are going after the backseat boys who have already taken in this match. The backseat boys, of course, I wasn't even sure if they are going to show up or not after the way Cashmere walked out of the building in Baltimore after losing the tag straps and then no-showed the Spencer Port show last week, but the, I got a feeling he wishes he didn't show up. Running total elimination by the SAT. And the SAT looking impressive here and the Vito busted wide open. And they have Cashmere Oh no, you know what this is. It could be the washing machine. Yes it is. And what a devastating maneuver is, but they turned him the other way. Oh, no, it's, there's not enough room to do it there. Oh, jeez. Cashmere washing machine into the steel mesh. That's going to bust him open as well. And the SAT look at home in the confines of the scramble cage. And the SAT working over DeVito, who's busted open. He's going to be bleeding more as he just met that cage face first. And I think Luke might have twisted his knee or something as he is limping. We knew there would be casualties in this match. And they are piling up fast and furious with Jack Evans and now Luke. And look at Luke. He is busted open. Oh, that's disgusting. Jose Maximo showing a vicious side. And don't forget, it was the Baxi boys who turned on the SAT last time in this building at Death Before Dishonor. There's just so much intrigue in this match. And DeVito, Cameron didn't see it. He met the cage. But now they're fighting on the outside as well, Chris. And did you think Cashmere is busted open too? And the doctors with Jack Evans. And Teddy Hart working over the lunch. And Johnny Cashmere on the floor. And here comes Special K, I believe the final team in the scramble cage. And wait a second, what's Jack Evans doing? There's a door, he doesn't need to climb over the top. And he is on top of the platform. And wait, Teddy Hart's going up as well, Chris. What do they have planned? Okay, they want to end this quick. I 
Savage Crew want revenge on Special K, especially after last week in Special Support. In fact, every team in this match wants revenge on Special K. That's what I was going to say. These guys want to get it over real quick because they definitely have a bullseye on their head in this match. And they have Jack Evans, 2 on 1. Nice power bomb there. And Hydro has him up. Oh! oh double knee to the chest by Angel. That's beautiful teamwork by the Rich Kid Ravers. But Jack Evans, what punishment this guy's taking in his ROH debut. Look, just making the save. And there goes Joel with the rope, and he's fighting back. Oh, what a vicious lariat there by Joel Maximo. He takes Hydro's head off. And now they have Angel Dust in a bad spot. Oh, they drop him on his head. What a crazy match this is, Chris. Of course, the SAT Special K feud has been going on and on and on and on. And it could end here. And hijinks busted open on the floor. He's bleeding in this one. It's Teddy Hart on the floor. And here comes Joel on the outside. They're just brawling all over the place, Chris. He is taking it to Teddy Hart. And Teddy Hart now in the ring. This is almost too much action to call here. It is too much action to call. There's bodies fighting everywhere, doing all sorts of crazy moves. And this is a scramble cage match. And what's Teddy Hart doing? Oh, nice move on Jose Maximo and Swaging takes and there's another DDT by Teddy Hart. Nice DDT there by Teddy Hart. Trent Acid climbing on the outside. And DeVito drops Teddy Hart with that key crusher. Yes, it was cover. Not enough, but Trent Acid in a dangerous, precarious position on the outside of the cage. And it looks like Jose Maximo is going to meet Trent at the top of the cage. Cashmere working over DeVito. Hydro with Jack Evans. Trent Acid just fell off the top of the cage right there. And look at this, look at this. Hydro is ascending to the platform. At least he's trying to. Could this be the highest he's ever been? I don't know. Uh, I think he was a little higher before the show. And you know they'll be higher at the Rave in New York City after this one. But they might not be much higher than they are right now as Hydro climbs to the top. And look, Joel Maximo meets him up there. Oh no, this is going to be bad, Chris. What are these two doing on the top of the cage? Oh, Hydro has a firm power bomb. No! This could end the career of Joel. No, no, Joel blocked it into a, a no. explosion. That could end the career of Hydro. Uh, oh, thankfully, Hydro blocked it. And wait a Oh, no, both SAT guys have Hydro on top of the platform. They have him hooked. No, they're not. The one and only Spanish fly. No!
putting it all on the line. And now Carnage Crew, they're finally going to get revenge on Special K if they hit this. Pal Driver, this is their finish. That's Spike Pal Driver. And that's it. He hit it. But the Mafia kicked my Trent. But a cover by DeVito. Oh, a save by Trent Acid. Oh, Carnage Crew so close to victory. And a scramble came. The Baxi Boys just kept the Carnage Crew from getting their revenge. Take him and go Hydro. And that's it. The Baxi Boys are victorious.